Game Corner. Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another game review and another special Kickstarter review. And today I'm very excited to check out Honeycombs from Four Sisters Games. This is for one four players. Take about 20 minutes to play. And in Honeycombs, this is going to be a matching game that has numerous different game modes in it. The one I'm going to be talking about today, though, is a fast and frantic matching game where you're going to be racing your opponents trying to create honeycomb with these hexagon pieces. But is it good? Let's open it up and I'll tell you. Alrighty then, we're going to take a look at what you're going to get inside of Honeycombs. Before we get started, I do want to mention this is the promotional copy in front of me, so take everything you see here with a grain of salt. Also, I do want to mention there are going to be numerous different game modes that are going to be included with this game. There's going to be battle royales and team games and a solo game, lots of different stuff. I'm only going to show you one version of the game, but I will be talking about some of the other versions of the game in the pros and the cons. So first and foremost, handy dandy rule booklet. Uh, yours is obviously going to be larger because this only includes one of the versions of the games, but it has tons of pictures, illustrations, examples. It's short, sweet, packed to the point, and it's a very well done rule book. It, it'll have you up and running in no time at all and I can teach you how to play at least this version of the game right now. So component wise, uh, I don't know if the drawstring bag is going to be included with it, but I do like it as a, a holder for the tiles. You're going to get something to hold your tiles, then you're going to get tiles that are six sided. And on these tiles you're going to have various different symbols. You'll have honey pots and uh, the beekeeper and the hive and flowers, the little hunt, whatever this thing is, more flowers. And there will also be every once in a while, a B as well. And the B is a wild symbol. So you'll be able to connect the B to any symbol you want. So as you can see, they don't come, come up too terribly often. But what you're gonna be doing is you're going to be trying to connect these hexagons, creating a quote unquote honeycomb in order to gain points. Now in the version of the game that I'm going to show you, it's going to be a race. So you're going to have 13 tiles face down in front of you. Everyone else is going to have those as well. Someone is going to say, ready, set, go. Then you're going to flip them over and you are going to be trying to connect them as fast as you can. So I'll go over some of the rules on how this game works. So one major rule that I want to mention is that um, you're going to score more points for how many, how many, how many tiles your tile is connected to. So I'll give you an example. Right now, this would be worth one point because there is one connection here. Now, if we, oh, we got a wild right there. If we put this right here, now it's going to be worth more points. This tile is going to be worth two points because it has two connections. Likewise, let's pretend, oh, let's, yeah, uh, yeah. Let's pretend that this matches right here. It doesn't match, obviously, because that would not work. But this now, this one would be, when we pulled it off, would be worth three points because it's connected to three different areas. So the more you have connected, the more points you're going to have. However, that is going to take you longer to do as you're going to be frantically looking through your tiles trying to find various different connections. Now with that being said, you'd be like, ha ha, I could just break this game by just going like this. And yeah, I'll instantly end the game super quick and win. No, because this is what's called a one connection. And you can only have two one connections. So for instance, if this was what something you did because you're a noob and you didn't listen to the rules because you were on your phone, uh, you only get to keep two of these, so three of these would go away, and you in actuality would score only one point. So you can only have two one connections on the tiles. Now, one more scoring thing that I do want to mention before I show you how the game works a little bit is that if you ever are able to complete a honeycomb, and it's actually, you know, all six are on the outside, which is insanely difficult. I have yet to do it. I've yet to see anyone do it in the three different times that it's gotten to the table with different groups. Um, it would be very, very difficult to do this, especially in the speed game. But if you can do it, you're going to score all the points for everything right here. But you're also going to get a five point bonus. So it is something to think about. So let's let's show you how to do it and uh, we'll just see how quickly we can do this. So we have started our game, we said ready, set, go, and now what we're gonna do is we're going to start connecting. So we got the green, the green, so now we're looking for the flower pot and we're looking for the honey thing, flower pot, honey thing, flower pot, honey thing, come on, there we go, flower pot, honey thing, oh, that does not match. Oh man, come on, come on, come on, come on, flower pot, honey thing, flower pot, honey thing, there it is, boom. So that's good, let's, oh, we got a bee right here, that's good to know. We need guy, uh, beekeeper, beekeeper. Do we have two red beekeepers in a row? No, we don't. Oh yeah, we do, boom, right there, two red beekeepers. So we're doing quickly, going quickly. That's actually a really good start. Let's see, can we get, can we get the honey pot and the thing, honey pot thing, honey pot coming home? Oh my goodness. Let's see, can we get the blue thing and the honey? 
That, oh, that one doesn't work because it's not the right way. But this one will. Holy moly. Am I about to complete a honeycomb? I just said it never happens. Uh, so let's see. We got this. No, I don't. There's no way we're going to do it. Holy moly. Okay. You know what? I probably should retract that statement. It never happened before except when I'm doing it live. So now at this point, we know we got a lot of points. So now we're just trying to go as fast as possible. So let's see. We do this and maybe somebody right now says stop. So we would stop. Now, what you're going to do when someone says stop is you are going to, the person to their left is going to check to make sure they have no errors. Because if you have any mistakes, you are going to lose that entire tile. So let's take a look at this tile right here. Uh, it obviously matches green, uh, the honey cup pot, and the beekeeper. But if it didn't match, you would lose the entire tile, meaning that you have lost uh, three points. Well, two points that you actually should have. Uh, so it is bad. You want to make sure that you get everything correct. So you're going to tally up your score, and you're going to go over three rounds, and whoever's those points after three rounds will be the winner of the game. Now, one thing, I, I, well, I'll mention this more in the pros and cons, but how you do the scoring. How you do the scoring is you're going to pull back a tile, and you're going to count how many connections were on that tile, and that will give you the point. So this is one. It's connected one right here, so that's two. This one is connected on three different spots. Oh, actually, we screwed up right here. Oh, oops, so we would lose that, but let's just pretend it works. You pull this back since it's three, that would put us up to five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fourteen, and then since we got that five point bonus, we would get five points right there, which means we would have nineteen points right there. That would be a very successful turn, but that, in a nutshell, is how that game mode of Honeycombs is played. Alrighty then, Honeycombs from Four Sisters Games coming to a Kickstarter you very, very soon. I'll be sure to post that Kickstarter link down below. What are my final thoughts? Let's go over the pros, let's go over the cons. First on the con side, the game's not going to be for everybody for a couple different reasons. Uh, obvious one, one to four players, er, very restricted player count. Also, at its core, at least the game mode that I showed you, is a speed and matching game, which is definitely going to be a turn off to some people. Also, there's not as much strategy as you might want, especially in this game mode. Really, the only the only strategy you have is, all right, do I go for as, try and do it as fast as humanly possible, or do I try and get these big clumps together because I know those are going to be worth more victory points, and that's really the only strategy you have. Also, the game is a little bit repetitive. You're going to be playing over three rounds. You're just going to be doing the same thing over three rounds. So that might be a turn off to some people. Uh, another con that I had with this is there are going to be numerous game modes, but I thought I felt like the one that I enjoyed the best was actually the one that I showed you, and I also like the team variant. I thought that was kind of neat too. Uh, but the one where it's supposed to be more gamey and strategy, where you have an unlimited amount of time to place your piece and you take turns doing it, it just didn't scratch my back personally. Uh, it might for you though. Any other cons I have with the game, the theme is pretty much pasted on. I mean, yeah, it's just honeycombs because when you put together the hexagons, they kind of look like honeycombs, but it could be a theme about anything. Any other cons? Mm, it's not really the game, a game night game, at least not for my game group. If you like lighter games, it might be for you. But for me, they were like, yeah, we enjoyed it, but it's definitely, we want something with a little bit more bite. But that goes back to one of the uh, earlier cons. Moving on to the pros, though. I did enjoy Honeycombs, and I am going to recommend Honeycombs for a couple different people and a couple different groups. First one, if you're looking at this as a family game and you routinely play under four players, yeah, you're going to have a lot of fun with this. The kids are going to enjoy the matching aspect, the speed aspect, and there's a lot of different game modes, which I was pleasantly surprised about. When they first sent it to me, there was like two or three, and now I think there's going to be like six or seven. There's a lot of different game modes, a lot to explore with this game. I brought it in my classroom. Kids liked it. The kids liked the matching aspect of it. We didn't do the speed aspect. I tried to do that at first, and they just, it was above them. Now, these were five year olds, though. But what we did end up doing was just trying to create this giant puzzle. And, th and that worked out well, but they were a little bit bored by it. So, what I did was I created like a limited space. I was like, this is our square right here. We have to try and get all of the tiles inside of this square. And that really forced them to try and find, you know, instead of just doing it like this, they actually had to try and find where there was maybe two or three matches on a particular tile. And I like that. I think if you had a younger child who was interested in this game and enjoyed this game at a younger age, you could kind of scaffold them until they're eventually playing the base game, the game that I just showed you in the middle part, which is always a good thing when a game can grow with a child. So uh, I do recommend this as a family game. Uh, at, for gateway gamers, I think they're going to enjoy this as well. It's simple, easy to learn, easy to teach. I mean, you saw in the middle part, 
nothing to it, which is always a good thing. The art works just fine. The components in the prototype are perfectly serviceable and good, so I imagine when they get to you, they'll be even better. Um, there's not too many holes I can poke in this game. Do I think it's a great game night game? No, but do I think it's a good game? Absolutely, definitely. For a family games, for a family gamer, or if you play with kids a lot, highly recommend. This is Honeycombs from Four Sisters Games. If you enjoyed this review, please be sure to click on the subscribe button down below in the comments below. Let me know, honey, do you like it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? For me personally, I love honey my wife smears honey on her face she does like this facial wrap thing and she yells at me all the time because i eat so much for honey but i love honey especially when you mix it with peanut butter oh i just wish it wasn't so expensive but yeah honey peanut butter peanut butter or honey on ice cream honey on waffles honey on pancakes honey on just honey on honey love me some honey let me know in the comments below do you like honey and as always thanks for your time youtube